Hey folks, and welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a quick and easy video. I've seen a ton of questions about player substitutions, switching out pitchers, hitters. I think I did a video this about this earlier. It might have been included in the tips video, but we're gonna do a standalone video today about how to switch out your players in different situations. So obviously to begin with, if you want to set your lineup, go to the lineup tab on here and you can set you know who you want to play. So let's say you got a new player, you wanna sub them in, just click here, center fielder, yeah, sub them out, bada bing, bada boom, pitchers, same thing as well. Batting order, you can do that here, switch people out, left, right, any way you want. But a lot of the problem seems to come when we go in game, uh, what do we do? So I'm going to show you really quick tutorial here. Uh, it's not going to be a long video today, but you go in here. If you're batting, you can hit that pause button up at the top right. Hit substitution, and then you can put in a pinch hitter if you want to. There you go. I, I don't think you can do a pinch runner. So now, see, we got a pinch hitter in the game, and he's going to uh, fly out for the first out of the game. But... Not to get too much into this gameplay. Let's see. Second, I'm Gronk. Let's see. We want to put in Suzuki for Gronk in the batting lineup. So here we go. We got Suzuki for Gronk. I guess you could use this if uh, your player is really tired or maybe, I don't know. I don't think they get injured or anything like that. So having a bench, people ask, should I recruit bench players? It's really not necessary. You should fill out your lineup, fill out all your pitchers, all the pitching spots. But after that, it actually shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't really ever need to substitute batters in game as far as I know. But if you have any situations where you've switched up batters, maybe, you know, maybe you do have um, a really hard hitting power hitter that you want to come up when the bases are loaded. If you need a home run or something, it's bottom of the ninth. There could be situations there, but generally speaking, you won't need to. But on pitchers is where uh, we kind of run into uh, this problem. It's the same thing. You hit the pause menu. You hit the substitute button. But I believe pitchers have to face at least one batter before they could be subbed out. So we can put in a reliever, Gronk. Yep, we put him in there. So now Gronk is in the game. Uh, if I throw a pitch... Strike one. I don't believe I can switch him out right away. Let's see if we can do that here. Let's see. Gomez. Yep. I have to face at least one batter. So, you know, you can do something like walk the guy. I'm going to walk him. See ya. And then uh, sub him out. Let's put Will Smith in here now. Yep. There we go. So, that's how it works for pitchers. You hit that pause button, hit the substitution menu. It should give you a nice and easy sub. But one thing that came up earlier this inning, and you guys probably saw that as well, is if you do sub batters, they will also come up when you're playing defense during uh, when it's their turn to field. So you probably have to... Uh, yeah, you have to watch out for that. It doesn't look like you can switch the starters back in. So once they're out, they're out. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, I can sub in, you know, someone else. Uh, but it's someone at, uh, what is this? First reliever. Oh, first. Yeah, I can't sub anyone else. You know, you can't take them out, take them back. So if they do sub on offense, it seems to me like it's going to be hard to put them back in on defense. You're going to have players out of position. Oh, that probably would have been, should have been a triple play. Um, so that's all I have for you today. Subbing players, both in game, out of game. Um, if you have any questions, let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you have any strategies that you use when dealing with players, dealing with subs, uh, let me know. I generally speaking, when I play the game, I don't really use subs. So, and I know how hard it is to get and to recruit players. Those recruit tickets are hard to come by. So, it really uh, does take a while for you to pick everything up. 
But that's all I had for you guys today. Uh, once again, we're going to head back into the main menu. Um, any questions, let me know. But yeah, quick and easy video today about subbing out players. Hopefully this was able to answer a ton of questions for you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you have any other videos that you want me to make going over batting, pitching, uh, how to find things in the game, let me know down in the comments below as well. But be sure to like this video if you liked it and thought it was useful. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I have a ton of other Baseball 9 tips and tricks videos on the channel. So give those playlists a check. Uh, Challenge Tuesday videos as well. A ton of good stuff on there. Stay subscribed so you don't miss out on any new uploads. But thanks so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.